Hello everyone, this is Pastor Miguel from the Children's Bethelist Ministry Church in Maryland. Today I want to talk to you about discipline. I think it's important for a Christian to be disciplined, and I'll explain to you why discipline is so necessary for a Christian. So I wrote a letter about a year ago to our ministers and pastors, but I think this letter will actually benefit you. That's why I'm reading the letter today, because it talks about discipline, right? And it gives you an understanding of what discipline is and how to um, actually implement it in your life okay so the first thing i'm going to read is this letter which i wrote to the pastors and ministers or of our ministry and it starts off like dear brothers and sisters in christ as followers of jesus we are called to live a life of discipline and self-control in the book of first corinthians chapter 9 verse 27 paul reminds us that i but i discipline my body and keep it under control lest preaching to others i myself may be disqualified so paul is telling his, uh, in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 27, that he disciplines himself, that he goes against the flesh because he doesn't want people pointing their finger at him and saying, you're a hypocrite, Paul. So being disciplined, this is the letter, being disciplined means having the ability to control our thoughts, our words, and our actions. It means being able to resist temptations and overcome obstacles that may stand in the way of our relationship with God. It means being able to put aside our own desires and to follow the will of God. So this is a hard part for many people. They don't believe that they could follow God because they they um, tend to desire certain things that they want. They're sinful desires. And, and so it is hard to do that because that's what the body, the flesh wants. But we don't walk in the flesh. We walk in the spirit as Christians. So God gives us the ability to fight back. Right through his word and through our will, emotions, and actions. Right, so it continues with discipline is essential for our spiritual growth and maturity. The Bible tells us in Hebrews 12, um, verse 11, that no discipline seems pleasant at times but painful later on because it produces a harvest of righteousness and peace for those who have been trained in it. So it tells us that discipline is at first not really a pleasant thing. But it's painful, right? Because your flesh wants, um, wants things that are sinful. So later on, however, it produces a harvest of righteousness and peace to those who have been trained in it. So if you're able to control yourself, you know, later on, because you resisted that temptation, God will reward you for that and you'll feel peace deep inside of you and you're no longer tempted by that. All right, so through discipline, we're able to crucify our the flesh and put to death the things that stand in the way of our relationship with God. It is through discipline that we are able to, to set our minds on the things above and not earthly things, according to Colossians uh, 3 2. Discipline is an essential for effective Christian service. In 2 Timothy uh, chapter 2, verse 3 to 4, Paul reminds us that endure hardship with us like a good soldier of Christ. No one serving as a soldier gets entangled in civilian affairs but rather tries to please his commanding officer. So our job should be to please our commanding officer, and our commanding officer is the Lord Jesus Christ. As a soldier of Christ, we are disciplined in our thoughts, words, and actions, so that we may please our commanding officer and be effective in our service to him. So our job should be to obey God, not to be disobedient, right? So in conclusion, dear brothers and sisters, let us strive to be disciplined in all areas of our lives so that we may grow in our relationship with God and be effective in our service to Him. Let us remember that discipline is not always easy, but it's essential in our, for our spiritual growth and maturity. So this, this was a, a letter I sent to our pastors about a year ago, and it was more about obviously following Christ and staying away from, from sin, because as a minister, as a minister, if you open yourself up for um, for a sin, if you commit sin, if you're a hypocrite, you're going to get demonized. Okay, you're going to get demonized because the devil hates you. So I sent this letter out as a warning to them to ensure that they are disciplined, that they obey God, they obey the word of God, and that they stay away from sin. And, uh, you know, some things, not everything that looks good to a man is beneficial to him. So... We are to stick with the Word of God, follow God, and obey God. And then when, when times come that, uh, that uh, you know, we're tempted because we're disciplined, we can overcome. Thank you so much for watching this video. God bless you guys. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And uh, we'll, see you, we'll see you soon. God bless.